Are we live, Ross? You just get a little video. A little video. Give it up one more time for Kari and Ross, everybody. Your Walking Dead panel. Give it up for the boots, everybody. Yay. Oh yeah, and the, and the glasses. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I did those this morning. They were just they were just boring. Yeah. And just just uh, you know, and then I, I bedazzled the crap out of them. He spent so much time and effort. I know on my these. poor fingers are yes. just worked to the bone. Well, it's so great to see you guys. You look fabulous. Who are you wearing, Ross? I'm I'm wearing my Rowdy Roddy Piper They Live shirt. Yay. Absolutely. Uh, to represent my Scotch Canadians out there. Uh, no. No. Well, Scotch Canadians. He's yeah. kind of Scottish. Yeah. And I'm having Iron Brew because I love it. Yay. And uh, yeah, yeah. There you have go. Have you had Iron Brew before? I have not had Iron Brew. Try it. Oh, I've got to try it. There you try go. It. Yeah, really try it. Try it. Let's get a taste test. Oh, yeah. Nice. There you go. Absolutely. Unlike anything on earth. I, I don't know this. what that tastes like, but there it is. Baby's it's in me. First iron it's brew. in me now. Yes. You look great. Who are you wearing today, Carl? Oh, you know, let's see. Um, this, is, uh, this is what's uh, known in um, the States as Old Navy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really fancy, really fancy store. Yeah. Absolutely. No, no. They, these um, these are boots I've been wearing for 12 years. Very cool. And uh, you know the the jeans are new, but uh, yeah, yes. yeah. He's got good jeans. What can we say? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I see what you did there. I I'm still marking out that you're wearing a Roddy Piper shirt. That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I didn't much. even yeah. clock that. Well, guys, how has Aberdeen been treating you so far? Really well. So good. Yeah. I've had so many. Kinds of scotch that I can't pronounce. <laughs> He's really good at, at uh, you know, he keeps track of it. I do. But it's like, uh, we, we, we were seven whiskeys in last night. Oh. And uh, it, the beauty of it is that I only, I only really drink whiskey here. Because when I wake up in the morning, I feel fine. I and I don't know why, but it just, tre it treats me so good. Yeah. Because it's better. It's better. It's better here. here. Yeah, it's yeah. just better here. Yeah. That's the we magic of Scotland. I yeah, think. yeah. Balanvi. We had Fader Cairn. We had uh, Ochentoshan. Kalila. Oh, yeah. oh, Chris! Man. Chris hey. was, he was giving out the good stuff yeah. last night. At the grill. Absolutely. How you Round doing, the man? There you Chris. go. Yeah. Good to see come you. Come on, good to see you. You said you'd be here. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. Round of that's applause good. for Chris. That's go to see yeah. Chris. He's my new best friend. At the grill. Go yeah. to see Chris at the grill. Yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll take care of you. Very nice. Absolutely. Well, in all seriousness, oh, I mean, great. whiskey is a, a major part of the Scottish experience. But when you guys do travel, because you do Comic Cons quite a bit, yeah. do you try to soak up the culture? And I don't mean soak up as in to have a drink. But sure, hey, sure, we of course. Judge. Of course. Sometimes I, I get in and out of because I got kids at home. I got, I got four kids at home. My daughter gets mad whenever I don't take her with me to a, to a con. So I, I, I have to get home. But I try to, I try to get a flavor of, of anywhere that we are. Yeah. Although uh, we we uh, I think we did the right thing last night because we were gonna go to a a castle, yeah, and uh, and see the castle. But I got in late, yeah, and uh, and apparently some people went to the castle, uh -huh. and then it got cold, and then it got windy, well, and then they couldn't find a ride back to the hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. So so uh, I'm just glad that I was in a nice warm place. With a, with uh, with all kinds of scotch. That's how I do it. I think that's way yeah, better. Yeah, we'll yeah. We'll do the we'll do the castle another time. Yeah, for sure. Maybe Excellent. in the afternoon when it's nice and warm. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, sure yeah. you're happy to see each other and to be reunited. But is there anyone yeah. else here at the con that you were either excited to see again or excited to meet for the first time? As far yeah. as our actors, the that whole are here? staff too. I mean, uh, yeah. we we yeah. we've done Monopoly shows quite a few times, and just seeing Andy and Jason and James and everybody, it's just been awesome. You know. Yeah, yeah. Great, Everybody's so cool. Great group they people. Take it. Good care. Everybody's feeling taken care of here. Yeah, yeah, it's been nice. No one feels taken care of oh. from that response. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me who I need to talk to, huh? We'll I, be on it, for sure. Right. No, it's a great group of people here, for sure. But any of the actors like that you've maybe met for the first time here? I haven't met anybody, anybody yet. We, no? we came straight kind of to the con and started and just uh, saying hello to people and meeting everybody. So I haven't met uh, anyone, They're actually. probably stuck at the damn castle. Yeah, That's probably yeah. what it is. There you go, exactly. My goodness. Yeah, you guys yeah. did the right thing going to the pub, for sure. Well, we're going to get to some fan questions in a moment. So, guys, get those questions ready. We have a roving microphone for you guys. But we got to talk about The Walking Dead. I mean, as you guys can see, this is a it spans generations, and it's huge everywhere. Scotland is a big fan of the show, obviously, right? 
And I see a lot of cosplayers you in Walking this. Dead as well. Did you guys have any idea that the show was going to be as huge as has it's become? I mean, it's massive. It was it was huge when I got on it. Yeah. So so we were lucky enough to kind of kind kind of uh, realize you know what we were. You realize what you're getting into. You also don't realize that ju just, uh, you know, how much it's going to change your life. Um, uh, Michael Cudlitz was, was there the first day that I came on set. And, uh, and he sat me down and uh, he was like, you remember the first time you, you had your, your first child? It's kind of like that. Like you just don't, you don't understand until it happens to yeah. you. And that that and he was right. It was like this was this was literally a new family. Hello, hi, how are you? <laughs> this was uh, it was a family that that you were coming into, and uh, you didn't realize, and you don't understand it until it starts to happen to you. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were getting forty-five to fifty million viewers worldwide a week, which is just numbers that still to this day I'm like really. Just baffled by it because uh, it was like a water cooler show, you know, on Mondays. Well, I guess for you guys, you got to, you watched it on Mondays, so I guess Tuesdays for you. But the next day after the show, you'd be like, did you watch The Walking Dead last night? And everyone was, I was a big fan before I got on it. I tried to audition three different times for it and uh, was desperate to get on it. So I was grateful when it finally worked out. But, um, you know, it, it was a worldwide phenomenon. And we, we, we were lucky enough to be part of it at the best I would say some of the best seasons of the show. Yeah, you know? and it's certainly yeah. like a conversation piece, like you said. You know, don't spoil it for me, one of those kind of shows. But what was the fame like for you guys? I'm sure you get recognized all the time, but in your careers, having been a part of this huge show, what was that like to adjust with? I mean, did your social media follow It's kind of funny rocket? because we both do a lot of cartoon voices, and so we had been working as actors for a long time, but nobody really knew our faces, yeah. you know? I've been, uh, I've been cyborg on for Teen Titans for 20 years, and, uh, and so I could go anywhere, and, just, and uh, nobody knew that Cyborg was sitting next to you. <laughs> and then, um, and then uh, all of a sudden, this comes along, and actually it took about two years before people could recognize me without all that hair. Because yeah. I, I had to shave my head for a long time. Yeah. And so they uh, so it still wouldn't recognize me. But, but, uh, but these days, yeah, yeah, now it's, now it's hard to, to not go anywhere without. It was so funny. We, we, we came to the hotel trying to get a, a taxi. And the guy was just getting out of the taxi cab. And, uh, and we were about to get in. And he looked at us and he was like, ah, what are you doing here? And I was like. We're, you know, oh, he's right there. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is amazing. No you manifested him. Yeah. What the hell? Apparently, we've met everyone in Aberdeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah we already like met. Like They're all sitting right up there together. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. your section, man. Yeah, oh. yeah. Amazing. But literally, it's like it's it's so funny that um that yeah yeah anywhere you go in the in the world somebody's like where do I know you from? Do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty now, cool. Now, Ross, for you, were they just excited to see you without blood all over your face? I mean, did they? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I think that I'm usually covered in blood, and people are always, like, surprised that I actually have two arms. You know, they're like, whoa, <laughs> it's that. not real. I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't actually cut my arm off, man. I'm, I'm not that much of a method actor, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's always a funny thing when people look at you because you're like, I don't know if they're looking at me because they recognize me from somewhere, but they, they look confused sometimes. They right. got that, like, uh and they're, they're about to say something, but they don't, because sometimes without the beard, they don't recognize me or whatever. But yeah, uh, sure. it's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then it's awkward if you're like, oh, do you think I'm that guy from that show? And they're like, yeah. no. <laughs> I, I always just stay to I'm always like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't make it more awkward. Well, guys, we have so many uh, genres represented here. We were just talking to some other actors about, you know, whether it's sci-fi or fantasy, everyone's a fan of something. What are you guys a fan of in terms of movie franchises, films, TV? I mean, I'm a big fan of Marvel myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I grew up, yeah. I mean, I grew up with that. Uh, I was gonna. I was talking about this last night. We had dinner, but like X Men, the animated series from the early '90s, was the show that made me want to be an actor, and also got me into Marvel and comics and everything. So, I always wanted to play in that universe, and we've been now lucky to to yeah. be in that world. It's and, so uh, crazy, yeah, yeah. Marvel, because uh, I don't know if everybody knows, but the voice of Professor X. In uh, in the in the new X Men '97 is Mr. Ross Marquand. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and Avengers. sounds impeccable. Thank you, thank you, 
Thanks. So good, so good, so you, awesome. You got a fun project coming out, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you I allowed got, to talk about it, or ish, I mean, I can, I can talk about just between yeah. us. Yeah, just yeah, just between yeah, us. Yeah. But, but, um, but, I, uh, yeah, I play, uh, I play Black Panther in the new uh, yes. video game for. Woo! If you haven't seen the trailer for it, you must. It looks so good. Like it just—it looks like real life. It doesn't look like a video game at all. It's yeah, it's, it's crazy. Amazing. It's yeah. crazy how many, how I, I stood in this, you know, I in this orb that had a thousand cameras around it, and they took a thousand pictures, and and I uh, and then and then you when you're doing a video game with motion capture. You know, you have a, a camera right here in front of your face, and there are cameras all around the room. But you're pretty much just playing in a in a big white room, you know. And they kind of they they put up different platforms and things, and it's kind of like when you're playing on uh, on the uh, on the jungle gym when you were a kid, you know. You you just make that jungle gym whatever whatever your imagination desires. That's what you turn it into. And uh, and the crazy thing now is is that I play on the jungle gym, come back, you know. Four months later, and they have built Paris around you, or they built Wakanda all around you, and it's uh, it's the coolest thing to see. You know, my pecs are a little bigger. You know, <laughs> my shoulders are a little wider, but but it's but it's me yeah, up there, and it's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy it. how real everything is looking. We talked to the cast of um, Red Dead Redemption, yeah. and they were explaining how physically grueling motion capture is. But it, oh, it is, yeah. but it is um, to their credit, and to your credit, it is full force acting. It's not like going through the motions, right? No, no. It's yeah. uh, it's it's crazy how much they they ask you to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's like uh, you do a jump, and uh, and they make you jump over and over and kick over and over and and uh, and uh, and and all of that stuff, and then. And then they enhance it a little bit, and that jump that you took, you know, is 30 feet in the air now instead of, you know, yeah. just uh, just what you're doing. But it, but it's uh, but yeah, you they really want you to 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 go full bore, yeah. and uh, and honestly, I love that about it. It's so much fun, you know, I, when when you're standing in front of a microphone doing just voiceover, mm. it feels uh, you you know so many you know I'm I'm, you know I feel like I'm I'm holding it all in. Yeah. And so to be able to do the motion capture, just just uh, it's 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 like being a kid again. Yeah. It's like being it's a kid amazing again. Amazing what they do with the graphics nowadays. Any gamers in the house? We have a whole gaming area here. There we go. There you go. There you go. Are, you, nice. are you guys gamers? If so, what are you currently playing, or what did you used to play? Oh yes. I mean, I'm <laughs> got to be Spider Man Two right now. Spider Man Two. I mean, I I go back to I, I play with my son who's 15, and so we'll like uh, so so we'll watch a little into the Spider Verse. Across the Spider Verse, and then we'll put those skins on and play in Spider Man, and I feel like I'm in the movie, you know. So I love it. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of Red Dead Redemption myself. Yeah. Um, uh, anything Call of Duty, yeah. even though I hate cheaters, I don't like when 12 year olds like use a cheat code and then kill me with one shot. I don't like that. So if that's any of you, I'm calling you out. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan. But and then also. Uh, uh, um, uh, anything in the uh, oh my god why am I blanking on the name uh, not Borderlands oh yeah Jesus. love Borderlands Borderlands and the trailer for the movie did you guys see that so good you did amazing oh it's so good <laughs> So many That's, good yeah. shows and films that have come from from video games. Yeah, Doom. Yeah. yeah, so many good ones. Well, it's so funny because because you know it used to be like the kiss of death. Yeah. If you do a a video game that turns into a movie or a movie that turns into a video game, usually they were gonna suck. Yep. Yeah. But the last couple of years, man, they've started to figure it out, yep. yeah. and we are on the cutting edge of uh of the technology, yeah. and the storytelling. The storytellers. And the technical wizards are both just coming together, making it amazing. Well, Halo, yeah. Halo 2. I don't know if you've seen that. Halo's amazing. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watch it. Yeah. I mean, so it, it's a slow burn at first, but I tell you, now that we're in the season two, like, that show's amazing. And it wow. feels just like the video game, too. Oh, that's it's, wild. It's awesome. I haven't yeah. checked it out yet. It's I good. Check that out. Some of these games are scary. Have you seen that Norman Reedus one? I forget what it's called. Oh, Death Stranding. With the Death Oh, Stranding. yeah, Death Stranding. Thanks for the nightmares. Yeah, what man. Hell? Yeah. Yeah, you, Kojima, yeah. you, you got to be you got to be ready for some weird stuff. I know. I, I was in uh, Metal Gear Solid. I played Drebin oh, wow. in Metal oh, Gear Solid uh, years ago. Yeah. With David? Yeah. No yeah, way. yeah. With yeah, H Hater and I were in the room together wow. doing that, doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4. 
Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking, speaking of scary, I got to tell you guys, um, love the show, but a little squeamish. Oh, you, yep. you, you can't do it? Do it? it? It scares me a bit. I had a few nightmares. Yeah, lo lots of blood, lots of gore. You probably but watch it like my mom. My, my mom yeah, watches my sh yeah <laughs> watches The Walking Dead like this, <laughs> through, her, through her fingers. Yeah, I mean, but that's what people say, that it is so lifelike, and with CGI and things like that they have nowadays, everything is so real. What was it like to be on set, and were there scary moments or, or moments that were upsetting? Because as a viewer, my gosh, there's so many big moments where, oh, You know what? It was, always, it was hilarious to me because the... Here's the cool thing about that wig. They did not want to get that wig dirty. They did not want to get blood and guts in that wig. So whenever it got real bloody, I was always kind of off to the side where the blood spatter went on everybody else and didn't hit me. So whenever they were like more blood and they were splattering they me in Ross front of them. Like, with blood, and I would just be like. <laughs> I was wondering in that battle in front of Hilltop why they kept putting me and Cooper in front of you. Yeah, yeah. That's why? Yeah, yeah. Just spray you guys with all the crap. I'm just like, uh, you know, I'm like, shield the king. <laughs> shield the king. I don't, don't need all hair. of that. Don't yeah. touch the hair. Exactly. <laughs> we have some questions in the crowd. If you guys have one, just raise your hand. I know a lot of people. Oh, there's your friend up there. Let's go to him. I'm surprised. Your, best, your bestie. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen the, the Last of Us? Love that Are show. Are you kidding me? I love the last. We're, we're friends with uh, Troy Baker and and uh, and, um, oh, uh, and, uh, and and Amy Johnson. Yeah, Ashley Johnson. Ashley, yeah, yeah. Uh, that um, and so uh, Ashley was in uh, was in Teen Titans. She played Tara in uh, Teen in the in Teen Titans like sent from twenty years ago. Yeah. So I've known Ashley forever. Oh, and Nolan and, too. And Nolan exactly. And so, uh, and so, yeah, yeah. So, so we were so excited just with the video game of uh, The Last of Us, just yeah. groundbreaking. And uh, and and both and both Troy and uh, and Ashley just killed it yeah. in the uh, in the the TV show. But I, I absolutely adore both the video game and the uh, yeah. and and the show on on HBO. And so, yeah, yeah. I mean. Just, just next level stuff. It's, next level. Especially in terms of graphics and gameplay, I think Last of Us is one of the most complete and fun games to play. I could play that for literally days. And oh, my God. Of it. Like, you know how many yeah. times I played uh, you know, when she was chasing that deer with the bow and arrow? Just the amazing, yeah. amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing show. Terrifying as well, though. Us. Just the, oh, in yeah. the theme of terrifying. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. So good. We've got a question up here on the right. Out of all the bad guys that you just go up against throughout every series, who I don't know. Where, where, where are you? Yeah. I, I couldn't I just, find her either. Oh, there Sorry, she is. There okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just like, yes, Mom? <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Out of all the bad guys that you just go up against through every single season, who's your favorite? I'd say Alpha, honestly, because... And I'll say, I'll say why. Because Alpha was the most terrifying character I think we've ever had on the show. Because I think a lot of us, if we were really faced with a zombie apocalypse, would not be as brave or as normal as a lot of the characters are. I think a lot of us would go insane. Yeah. Because think about it. Reanimated corpses come back from the dead and try to... Like, that is an insane thing to witness. And I think the human brain couldn't fathom that. So her journey and all of her, you know, beta and all the people who follow her to, to don the, the skin of the dead, yeah. to, to, to blend in and to just live like an animal, that's pretty crazy. And I yeah. think that's, that's why that character was so interesting to me as a viewer. Yeah. So good. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, Samantha's Sam, amazing. Saman yeah, yeah. Sam is just incredible. And, uh, and, and she just switches into it because she's such a sweetheart. Lovely. And then she gets weird. <laughs> she gets weird right in front of your eyes, you know? Yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that was fun. I, I also, I like working, honestly, I like working with Jeffrey too. Just because uh, just, just Negan's such a cool, cool uh, character to play off of. You know, and uh, and he was always uh, always always fun to play against. Although you got to keep Jeffrey in line because he's crotchety. He, he's crotchety on set. He's like, Kari, I'm tired. I was like, shut up. Crotchety. Everybody loves you. Shut up and do your job. Yeah, yeah. But but I uh, but he was. Uh, yeah, I, I love playing against Negan. 
crotchety. Now trending. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, a yeah. word. <laughs> <laughs> crotchety. We got a question oh, right around right the same here. area there, Hello? right up there. Is Shiva a real tiger? And if so, what's it like to work with a tiger? Uh, first of all, of course she's real. How dare you think she's anything but real? She will always be real in my heart and in my soul. Of course she's not real. I'm not crazy. I'm not, you know. No, no, the, the, uh, the, the tiger was, uh, was almost totally CGI. Um, I had no idea what she was going to look like. Uh, I, remember, I remember turning, sitting on that throne and looking to my left and being like, I hope you look good, because if you don't look good, I'm going to look real stupid. If, if, I, if she was real, I would have looked l a lot less kingly. You would have seen me flinching a lot during those scenes. And, uh, but here's, here's the cool thing about it. Um, the, uh, the computer imaging that we used to, to make Shiva was uh, we bought all of that from an uh, uh, Oscar-winning movie called Life of Pi, which happens to be my favorite book. I, I, I read that book years before uh, Life of Pi, the movie, came out. And, um, and I, the thing is, is that if you read it, you don't know that that book is about a tiger, you know, on a boat. You just think it's about this precocious kid who's learning what God and something bigger than himself is. And so I, and so I adore that book. And the idea that the, 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 the tiger that's sitting next to me on the show is Richard Parker. So, so the, 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 uh, the tiger from my favorite book is actually my tiger, Shiva. And so to me, it's kind of this beautiful full circle thing. Yeah, yeah. But that's why she looks so good. Because we literally bought it from, the, uh, from, uh, from an Oscar award winning movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we got her. Great question. I've got a question right here in the blue. Hello there, uh, Blackbeard and Greybeard. <laughs> that's us. That's us. Um... Say The Walking Dead was filmed just outside Aberdeen mm. and Hilltop was overrun with walkers. What would you say first? The whiskey stores or the Ida Brew stores? Oh, oh, don't make me choose. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'll say this. I think the whiskey has more value for a couple reasons. It's a good antiseptic if you need it to be. If you there get a you wound, go. you can pour it on. I, I doubt Although I would cry every time. Yeah. I had to I had to pour a little out. And I, maybe I'd, I'd pour it and then just try to get it both in my mouth. And then can I do both? Well, I could be wrong, but I don't. Yeah, carbonated water, sugar, acid. I mean, there might be some good stuff. There that, might be some. There might be there some. Might be some. I'm going to take the whiskey, though. I would take the whiskey. I'm yeah. going to take the whiskey, yeah. Because when things get rough, and they will in the yeah. apocalypse, you're going to want something to take the edge off. Yeah. And Absolutely. And a good uh, Okintoshin or uh, Balanvi. Oh, God, that was so smooth. Balanvi. I think, I think that's mine. I think that's that the one. That was the one you liked the most. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It just opens in your mouth. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Good so the whiskey. Question yes. Here. Great question. <laughs> uh, so I'm from here. So I was just wondering, you said that you were going to the castle. And I was just wondering, like, what castle? Because Donator. The first time. Uh, Donator, yeah. Donator, yeah. Uh, and we were trying to make it down, but there was just no way before yeah, the Yeah, yeah, we went just down. weren't going to make it, you know. So, I, yeah, yeah, I'm a little heartbroken about it. I may try yeah. and get up extra early because I woke up at, like, at 6 this morning. So I'm thinking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe I'll try and, and get up in the morning and go. Yeah. All right. yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and these guys are going to yeah, be at the famous last area. words. Yeah, yeah. 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 Come give them your recommendations at the autograph. No, they're trying to get me to an after party now, and so <laughs> so so now you know, yeah, I'll probably they'll be dragging me out. There'll be whiskey there. To get it, getting over here. There yeah, you go. there you go. Yeah, and a cosplay yeah. competition oh. should be yes. fun. Who's Ooh. going to the after party, by the way? Yeah. There you nice, go. nice, nice. Hello. What's it like to see yourself on on TV? I hate it personally. No, yeah. no, no. I'm not even kidding you. Like, uh, you know, and I think we can talk. I don't think yeah, Andy sure. would mind, but. Andrew Lincoln, Rick, famously does not watch the show. He doesn't like to watch it. And I always asked him, I said, why don't you watch yourself perform? That's so odd. And he said, he's like, and he never breaks character. He's always Rick Grimes. You've got to keep in mind. So he's like, well, you know, you and I both come from theater backgrounds, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, you don't get to watch yourself in theater. When you do your thing on theater, you, when you're done, you're done. You don't get to watch it again. And I was like, Oh, that makes a lot of sense. He said, I like to leave it out there on the stage and not look at it again. I was like, that makes a lot of sense. For me, 
that's not my mindset. Mine is just that I'm super insecure and I'm always judging every choice I make. I'm like, ah, I wish I had done that differently and I wish I had looked differently in this scene. It's just, it's hard not to overthink your performance because right. you, it's, it's forever, right? When you do it, you might have done it 15 times, but they're going to choose just one take. And I remember we, we did this one episode last year with the, the, one, the Russian roulette with me and Seth, Father Gabriel. Oh, my gosh. So and good. So good. But there were some takes that I thought were a little stronger and they didn't use them. I was like, oh, man, I wish they'd yeah. use those. But you got to let it go. You just got to say they're gonna, it's an editor's medium. They're going to do whatever they want with it. And you just got to trust that they're going to put uh, the best stuff out there. And, yeah. But that being said, it is, it is very nerve-wracking watching. I, I much prefer listening to ourselves do our thing because when you're in the booth – you can do whatever you want, and yeah. you can look however you want. You can look ridiculous. You can be wearing your pajamas. And then the final product is always so much cooler than, than what it is in your head, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, sometimes, you know, it's, when, when it's not the, the take that I wanted or something like that, I don't like watching myself. But, uh, but there, there have been a few times that I was like, you know, that was pretty good. I feel pretty good about that one. That was... Uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, like the speech before my entire community gets oh, I gets uh, gets killed. That was a good speech. That was a good speech. I did a good. Yeah, a good yeah, speech. that was a good job. I feel good about that one. But yeah, there's sometimes that I was like, oh, I wish they would have, I wish you would have done a different one or something like that. But every once in a while, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I I, I watched the Black Panther trailer a couple of times because I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, because that's literally, I'm growing up, you know, as a kid playing, you know, I'm, I'm Black Panther, you know, oh. running around in the woods, oh. you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. And that was uh, literally, you know, I was like, mom, you have to watch this. This is pretty cool. Yeah. You know? And did yeah. she freak out when she watched yeah, it? That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. My, my aunt, you know, she, yeah, yeah, screaming at, come on! I was like, yeah, yes, Gina. Yes, babe. It's me. You that, guys have that was a lot to be cool. proud of. Aren't yeah. we proud of them and the work that they've done? You have a lot to be proud of. Yeah. We've got another question right over here to the left. Uh. We're switching now. There we go. There you go. Um, so I was just wondering, out of all the episodes you've done, what was your most favorite to film? You know, mine... I mean, there were so many. But the one that that sticks out for me is honestly when uh, the, the episode that I was just talking about where Shiva died, where, where um, you know, it was, there was so much, you know, uh, I guess emotional energy that I was bringing. And, uh, and, and one of the things that I, that I love and hate about the show is that I love the character so much. I want, I want them to like, Put it on my shoulders and let me, let let me, uh, you know, take it and, and let the character do what he does. And that was one of those those moments where where um where I where it was kind of Ezekiel was like that was Shiva. She, yeah, Shiva, stop. <laughs> she does this all the time. She's always trying to pull focus. But I uh, but I I really uh, I I love that moment to be able to. To uh to to carry the um the show on Ezekiel's back for a little bit and uh and just uh it was you know I was literally killing walkers and and crying and screaming for Shiva and and uh you know and 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 all of the people that I worked with on, uh, that that were in the kingdom that got killed that episode it was like it was like Shiva's the embodiment of all of those people you know to me and and so uh and so I'll never forget that that moment in that episode for me yeah. Mine was probably last season, actually. I think it was the fourth to last episode. Uh, me, Jerry, uh, Lydia, and Elijah are in the Renaissance Fair, the abandoned Renaissance Fair. And that was so much fun because, A, I love all three of them. They're like some of my favorite people to work with and some of the loveliest humans I've ever met. But on top of that, I used to go to that Renaissance Fair at, personally for years before we ever shot there. Uh, so we would, like every, every April, I would say, when we were coming back to work, right around that time, 
uh, we wouldn't be filming just yet. We'd start filming. Uh, yeah, ap- late April. Late April, but yeah, like yeah. you come in like mid April, and we'd be slowly getting back and getting our costume fittings and everything. But that was right when the Renaissance Fair happened every year, and I would go there and we'd get our mead and you know the turkey legs and everything, and you dress up. In the you know, and I just love Ren Fairs. I'm a I love that stuff, you know. Uh, so getting a chance to shoot at one of my favorite places with some of my favorite people was amazing. But my least favorite episode was the Negan lineup. That sucks so bad. And seeing your friends get their heads smashed in over and over again was just it was just too much. Like that 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 actually hurt us on an emotional, visceral level, you know. So that was that was my least favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quick, serious question for me. So we're at the Ren Fair. Yeah. Are you dressed up? And if so, Absolutely. what are you wearing? Oh, I would try to go for like a witcher kind of okay. vibe. It didn't, I didn't pull it off very well. I wish we had well, a photo. But... And like, here's the photo right here. Yeah, yeah. I wish it, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was always like the pleather pants and the, you know, the, the, the spats and everything. And I just love that stuff. I, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. I, I, I freaking love that stuff. It's just fun, you know. Who yeah, loves yeah. a Renaissance fair? Show of hands. Ren fairs? Oh, yeah. No, well, me? Oh, why no. Not? A couple. Oh, it's just oh, us. There's just enough. Yeah. They're like, wow. Secret oh, Ren fair. Oh, man. I'm right calling here. myself out. We've got a question over here. There we go. Hi, Hi. Um, I was wondering if you've been watching the spin-offs, and if so, which one's been your favorite so far? Oh man, I'm <laughs> been really good actually. They, I, I, I really enjoyed them. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. The, the, uh, I, you know what? I can't, we can't really talk about them much because have because they haven't played over here yet. I'm not gonna say a word. I am not going to say a word because they're, they're actually the, – the cool thing about the spinoffs is that, is that uh, you're able to kind of focus more on, on everybody. So, so uh, yeah, yeah. I, I honestly – I think they've all got their own flavor. The, the um, you know, Dead City, um, uh, uh, Daryl, uh, the ones who live – they they've all they they've all literally got their own flavor and and uh and I think which is which is really interesting to me that they that they're within the genre they they're um they're taking on a life of their own but i uh, but yeah yeah i'm i'm not going to pick one i'm not going to pick one what he said yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 good neutral answer we have a question right over here uh, right hi my name's Corey, and i just want to ask uh if a foamy apocalypse would happen in real life. What would you use as a weapon? So everyone usually says they'd want like a gun of some kind, but that's a great idea, but you're going to run out of bullets real quick. So I think a weapon that doesn't require ammunition is the best way to go. I always think a crowbar would be a very effective tool because it could open doors. You're always going to need to be able to break into places. That's a big thing. And then a crowbar, you know, you'd have to be able to wield it properly. But, yeah, I think a crowbar would be nice. What about you? An elephant. What? I would like an elephant. What? Well, since they took away my tiger, okay, I was like, like, what kind of animal do I want? I want a nice thick-skinned animal that you can't bite. You you can't bite through an elephant. You're going to feed the elephant. Then I step on top of the, uh, I'm I'm on top of the elephant. They can't get to me. I'm like, (laughs) ha. What are you going to okay. feed the elephant? Hay and whatever hay. they eat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hay. You know, come have some hay with my elephant. I'm on top of the elephant. The elephant just steps on walkers. You know, I just, I just, you know, Simba. You know, I just get another. You call the elephant Simba? Simba. Simba's my. Not, not Dumbo? Not Dumbo. No, okay. no, no. Because my, I, mine is a very smart elephant. So, yes. That is not the answer Elephant. I thought you were going to not say. Either, yeah. That went in an insane direction. We have thought a, question, a final a question from this terrifying gentleman over here to the right. Oh, you can't Ooh. miss that. Hi. Um, will there be any new seasons or movies about the Teen Titans franchise? Yes, there will. Teen Titans will never die. Clearly. No, no, yeah, and we're still trying to get a season six of the original show, we're still we're we're uh, we are right now doing season ten of Teen Titans Go, and uh, and uh, and fingers crossed, there uh, there has been a lot of talk about uh, a new uh, Teen Titans Go to the movies, which is uh, which I believe is one of the funniest movies you'll ever see. I thank you for agreeing, because you are right, sir. 
Can I get a booyah? There you go. <laughs> booyah. booyah. We love to hear that. Great questions, everybody. We have to get, let you guys get back to the autographs and photos area to meet and greet all of you lovely people. But what are you guys looking forward to after Aberdeen, professionally, personally? What's next for you? <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing this game of yours, honestly. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, you're talking about it earlier, but X Men, that was the show that got me into everything. And I, I gotta say, I don't know if it's all available over here yet. I, I think, think it, it is. Be on Disney yeah, Plus. yeah, I think uh, X Men '97. Yeah, should, yeah. Yeah, it should be playing over here. But seriously, if you get, if you get a chance, even just watch the first two. I guarantee you're going to love it, and it's just, I, I'm so thrilled to be a part of that. So yeah. No, it's really great. It's so cool that it, that it is throwback, but it is also very, very relevant, you know? And, uh, and Wolverine's just, oh, uh, baby. oh man, he's Come the on, best. Bub. Yeah, he's so good. Oh, so good. So well, good. Thank you guys for the memories. Thanks for the nightmares and all that as well. <laughs> we are wishing you guys continued success, and I know that you can't wait to meet all of the people in Aberdeen, so we'll let you get back. But guys, please give another round of applause for Ross and Kari. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you guys so much. Thank you.